Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I made the cinematic shot in a few hours from scratch. First, we'll gather some references and images we can use as textures. Then, we'll put everything into Blender to make the most cinematic shot we can. And throughout this video, I'll drop some technical tips that really helped me on this project, so make sure you watch all the way to the end. And also guys, thank you for helping me reach 150 subscribers, that means a lot. So first, I did the most important thing when starting a new project finding good references. Luckily, I live in Tokyo, so finding references and textures will not be too hard. And of course, if you're not in Japan, finding images on a site like Unsplash works just as fine. So what I was looking for when I went out to take pictures was things I could use as textures, like signs, the ground of course, like walls, storefronts. But I also wanted to capture some references on how a Japanese street could look like. So I filmed a bunch of random shots of streets I just liked and tried to take as much inspiration from each of them. I also took a few pictures of some leaves because I know we can use them to make plants in Blender. But before I took these textures into Blender, I went through all of them, removed the background for the ones needed and just cropped them so it's easier to work with. Then I opened Blender. So I started by just blocking out the rough scene and then putting in a camera. It's also nice to add some meta-human rigs to use as size reference for a human. Then I imported every texture as plain. There's a very easy way to do this actually in Blender 4.2. You just click Shift A, go to Images and choose Plain. This way all your textures will be imported as planes and you can just start using them immediately. It's really nice. And after this I took the texture planes and placed them around the scene. Next step is cleaning up the models. This might take a while and my goal is just to make sure that nothing feels too flat. And this is done by splitting the texture into multiple parts with a knife tool, then making it feel more 3D by extruding them. And while doing this, I'm also creating some rough materials. And next step was to just add some lights in the scene. This is also where we start adding some extra details and we just polish everything so it looks better. Something that really helped make this scene come alive was these videos I filmed of lights moving. Then I used these videos as animated textures. Here's a work in progress render. Not too bad, but I think we can make it better. I also added the lamp from my 5 minute Japanese lantern tutorial so you can watch that if you want to. But of course wait until this video is done. <laughs> But I felt something was missing. In some streets in Japan you'll find a web of power cables. And I think this really adds to the aesthetic. So I made some power cables for a scene by making curves and extruding them in the curve settings. And I wanted some motion in the scene, so I animated the camera. You know, this looks good, but it feels too stiff. And to fix this, I added a noise modifier on the rotation keyframes, and this makes the camera rotate and move a little bit more naturally. But that's not all the motion we can add to the scene. So I also simulated and animated some of the elements in the scene, like this sign made of fabric and this lantern. And when walking around in Japan, there's a lot of greenery around. So I wanted to add some plants to the scene too. And to make the plants, I just used the Ivy Gen add-on in Blender, where you can just generate plants. And I just added the leaves as textures. And now the scene already looks really cinematic, but it's missing something. Rain. And an easy way of faking animated rain is to make two models. A long droplet and a splash. And for a splash I usually use metaballs, just make sure the poly count is low. Then just copy a bunch of droplets, merge them together into one mesh, and then add noise modifier on the Z location. Even though all the drops are going up and down, in the camera it will look like falling rain. And for the splashes, I just used a particle system that spawns the splash all over the scene. And now it's raining, but I wanted the materials to look wet. And for that, I just turned on the roughness. But I want something moving through the scene. So I found this flyer from this Japanese Buddhist cult that are centered around this Fuji mountain. And I guess we can use that. So let's simulate it flying through the scene. And for the last touch, I just want to add some glow, which I did in the compositor. And to make it look even better, I like to bring the render into damage resolve and work on the colors there. Because working on the colors like you would on a real shot really helps elevate the realism. That's how I made this cinematic scene in just a few hours. I hope you found this video helpful and that you feel inspired to try something similar in your projects. And of course, the project files are free and you can download them in the description and feel free to explore them and see how everything comes together. Alright, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.